Now we're going to write some testing code, and I'm just going to put it right in the same package here, new Java class. And this is going to be my linked list test. And there we go. Finish. We're going to write a public static void main here. Public static void main. Nope. Square args. Okay. We need to create a my length list. Oh my goodness. My link list. So we're going to go new. Our constructor took no arguments, so that should be just fine. We do have a two string. So I'll go list equals plus list. All right. And we'll run this. Now there's no main classes found. Just remember you do have to hit save and then run. I think the way the autosave works is once it runs, once it, it actually properly starts to run, meaning starts to compile, then it saves. Uh, but it didn't save first. Anyways, select main class. As long as you have public static void main, should be fine. All right, great. We saw the to string that just printed the default because there was nothing in there. So how do we put things in there? All right, let's go ahead and do that. This is way too much to type, so I'm gonna call it L. Unfortunately, it looks like a one, uh, but ooh, that, that really does. I'll just leave it as list. Uh, L does look like a one. All right, I can do something a little weird here. Remember, we implemented list right here. So I can treat this like a list and all the methods we have here, we're all overriding things that came from list, which means right here, we can just write list. And it won't know, but that's all right. Make sure you take the one uh, from the Java util, the same when you uh, use the other file. Okay, and then we can start doing list dot, and this is all the methods. Look at that, adds right there. Add, okay. So we can put whatever we want in here. Well, let's, uh, I think we're doing food before. I'm just thinking of food, list.add, and then I'll duplicate this and it'll call the toString method again. And we'll see how our, uh oh. All right, fantastic. You are very likely to see somewhere in here, no, no pointer exception. All right, this can mean a few things. Usually it means you called next when uh, there was no object there. Uh, when when it was, let's see, when current was null. So let's go to the first one. All right, so this was at the initial. Ah, that's why. We started current at the one after head. But what I should have done is grab the head data, not because current was head.next. So that was equivalent to this right here. But this would be the second data. Right here is the initial data. It's the head node, the first node, and it's the data right there of that node. All right, no pointer exception again. Good. I think here we can do if current is not null. Not null, yeah. All 
right, success. Hey, hey, look at that food. Okay, we're gonna add another food. We'll go drinks. Okay, so our two string works, our ad works. So you have some choices now. Uh, you do need to implement uh, the remove uh, and all the ones listed in the lab. And you have a few choices. You could grab the code, uh, but it will, it'll give a lot of this away. Uh, or you could write these yourself. So I'll go there in more detail in the lab.